Yo, yo, it's your boy Medicine Man, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the MPK-49 with FL Studio 12. That's right, FL Studio 12, baby. It just came out yesterday, so you know I'm hype. So first things first, we got to get the controller working, right? So I wanted to see if my template from FL Studio 10 still worked. And guess what? That shit does. With a little minor tweaking note. So if you haven't set it up yet, or if this is your first time setting it up, Watch my video on how to make your own template, which I'll leave in the description, and follow that guide. The same way it's done on that video is the exact same way as in here, FL Studio 12. So if you watched it and are upgrading to the new FL Studio like me, then this quick tutorial is so damn easy. Too easy. Like, hitting that subscribe button, no. <clears throat> but anyway, let's get to it. Alright, I got a new setup. I haven't did anything yet. I actually installed it, got it working, and then I uninstalled it so I can have it, uh, so I can show you how to set it up like I did. So as you can see, options, let's go to MIDI, let's go to, to the keyboard, it's already in there, enable, alright, it's working, the play button works, stop button works, everything already works, um, except for the faders and the, uh, and the knobs, which I'm turning right now, nothing's happening. All right. So if you still have your uh, template from my last video, check this out. Let's X out. I still have FL Studio 10 installed. So let's see. Let's go to wherever you installed it at, image line. See, there's FL Studio 10. Data, projects, uh, templates, power user. Just copy that. Just copy that folder. As you can see, that's my template. So once again, copy, right click, copy, go back. FL Studio 12, the same thing. Data, projects, templates. As you can see, there's no power user. Just, oh, over here, fucking up. All right, paste it, boom, power user. Now, open up FL Studio. A file, um, 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 new from template, boom, MED. Oh, see, that's another problem that I was having when I first uh, started FL12 was the plugins. Like, how do I add these damn plugins, which I'll make a video for that too. Uh, probably next couple of days from the day of this video. So uh, let's ignore that for now. Now, as you can see, stop, play button still works. Stop, everything still works. Now let's go back to the mixer. The faders are not working. Some of the knobs are kind of working. They're not set up all the way. But instead of going through all that from my last video, like setting it up from scratch, you already have the basics pretty much down. So from there, you can just right click and link to, link to controller and then start like, and then just start from scratch. From this part, I mean. Accept. Oh, I didn't even press it. All right, there we go. Yeah, so this is basically pretty much it. So you can just drag and drop the uh, power user template, bring it over. Stuff's already halfway working, and you just got to link the controllers over and over again. So once you do that, the same as the last video, save new version, templates, power user. Yep. Okay, now let's X out. Restart. It's going to give me that because it's damn plugins. But as you can see, my uh, my BPM is still there. My uh, True Piano plugin is still there. Now let's go back to the mixer. Boom. Still working. Pretty damn easy. Like hitting that subscribe button. No. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I hope this helped out a, a little bit. And, uh, Stay tuned. I'm going to make a video on how to get these plugins up in there because they're loaded, but can't find them. So I hope this video helped out and uh, I'll see y'all later.